Hey everybody, I'm back once again with another quick film review for you, and today I'm going to be taking a look at Godzilla Cross Kong The New Empire, which is a uh, direct sequel to uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, and it's directed by Adam Wingard, with a screenplay by Terry Rossio, Simon Barrett, and Jeremy Slater, and it stars Rebecca Hall, Ryan Tyree, Henry, Dan Stevens, and Kaylee Hottie. And it's a pretty good monster mash, you know? I mean, it's a big fight again, but this time they're allies. It's no longer versus. This time Kong and Godzilla fight side by side, uh, at least according to the trailers. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything here. Uh, I'm not going to say anything that wasn't already in the trailers, so there were some little reveals there in the trailers there, but if you want to know nothing, then don't watch this. <laughs> but I won't really spoil anything, you know, major and nothing that happens in the movie and certainly not the ending. Uh, so at the end of the last movie, uh, I will reveal what happens at the end there. The the last movie, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, they defeated uh, Mecha Godzilla, and uh, Kong wound up uh, basically establishing new territory in the Hollow Earth you know, which is just, like, in the middle of the Earth, basically, uh, the center. And uh, Godzilla also uh, continues to be a savior of the world now, and he's uh, chilling and sleeping in the Colosseum there in Rome. In the Hollow Earth, there's a sinkhole that opens up, and it leads to Kong discovering more of his kind, including a, a very young, tiny little Kong. And, uh, yeah... It, okay, why not, right? I mean, we could use more monkeys in this uh, in this movie. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that, and we get good monkeys, and we get uh, evil monkey uh, as well. At least one, anyway, uh, who winds up being the, the main antagonist here. Um, the humans, in terms of the humans, I mean, you know, when they wind up going to the Hollow Earth, they know it's a dangerous trek. They may not all make it out, um, you know, in the jungle with these giant creatures... Um, and we've certainly seen that kind of stuff in uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong and, and other things, you know. Um, a lot of movies have giant, uh, you know, creatures in them that are quite scary. Uh, and uh, this one's uh, it's not really scary, but uh, certainly creepy. Uh, there's a lot of creepy creatures in this uh, this hollow earth where uh, Kong now rules. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, the, the humans are fine, you know, uh, the ones that return from the previous film. And then there's some new ones as well here, of course. And uh, and they're they're okay. I mean, their story isn't great. The jokes aren't that funny, but it's okay. You know, I mean, we're not really there for the humans anyway. We're here to see these monsters take on other monsters. We're here for the visual effects, basically, and the sound effects more than the story. And uh, and but the story is okay. It's not you know nothing special, but uh, it's not terrible uh, by any stretch, certainly. And it's a pretty satisfying ending uh, to the film, I will say. Uh, visual effects definitely are up there. Uh, I can't really compare this movie to Godzilla Minus One. That's a, very different because Godzilla was just a straight-up threat. He was a straight-up monster out to kill people, you know, and destroy things. And that's what Godzilla is in, in Minus One. In this movie, he is really an ally of Kong. You know, he's a good guy and a protector of Earth, just like Kong, so he's a good guy in this movie, and uh, yeah, that's cool, it's very different, of course. So this sequel turned out to be eh, okay, you know, I mean, not bad, certainly has its impressive uh, moments, um, but the threat has changed quite a bit, I mean, when the threat is no longer the destruction caused by Kong and Godzilla, the threat is now these other threats, then it's like, well, okay, like, hey, you know, like, there's... There's, there's, it's a totally different kind of movie now. So, you know, that's the, the kind of movie that they wanted to make. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't really do much for the humans uh, in this case. The humans are just basically just, you know, plot devices. They got to they gotta do what they got to do. You know, um, the little girl, of course, is, uh, you know, special. And she's, uh, she's a deaf actress who, uh, who speaks in sign language to Rebecca Hall's character as well, um, Dr. Anderson. And, um, you know, that's that makes it a little bit different, you know, just like in the previous film as well. So it, it's kind of like, you know, hard to really criticize and say that it's not a great movie or anything like that, but it's a, but it's not terrible. I, I don't, you know, I'm just going to have to give it uh, the, the, the usual kind of middle-of-the-road um, score here of a 7 out of 10. And the reason for that is uh, really just because... 
you know, it was it was fine. It was fine for what it was. It didn't do anything special or new that was that memorable. The most memorable thing, I think, is Kong's expressions at time, you know, when he has a toothache or when he's really ticked off or, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. That That's really what works the best here. Um, Godzilla's cool. This Godzilla's very cool, too. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, the minus one Godzilla is everyone's favorite, but nothing wrong with this Godzilla, really, uh, you know, just as a good guy instead, you know. So, yeah, uh, the humans, eh, they, they do what they can, you know. Um, they weren't terrible, but... I just thought it was kind of like a who cares kind of thing with the humans. We really come for the action, uh, and it should be a movie seen uh, on IMAX if you can. Uh, go to the biggest screen possible for this one. Uh, it's definitely kind of worth the extra bit here uh, for all the action, because the action is a lot of fun. It's really good, and uh, so, yeah, you know, it's a Godzilla King Kong movie. What do you expect, you know? So a lot of carnage, a lot of big, uh, big monkeys and uh, lizards. <laughs> and uh, that's what you get. So you get what's advertised. For that, I give it a 7. All right, guys, that's it for this quick review, and until next time, peace.